Dash? Dang, like he does X Games in here. Like it's nobody's business. He just he runs around, does X Games. Sometimes I just can't even do it. Like Dash, I need you to calm down. Seriously. What up YouTube, Lady London here, and today I have a video for you guys featuring the Naked 3 palette and I think like one or two shadows from the from MAC. Um, I want to let you know that if you don't have the Naked 3 palette and you don't have those MAC colors, um, what you can do is purchase this palette if you don't already have it. The colors in here are very similar to the ones I'm going to be using, so if you have anything like this, Feel free to use so like everybody doesn't want to see Mac. Everybody doesn't want to see Urban Decay. You know, honestly, I just started getting onto this stuff like because I just didn't feel like it was really worth it. I want to be able to cater to the masses, so you know, people who do have it, great, join in with me. To to the uh, to the ones who don't have the same things that I have, let me show you what I do have that you can use to get the same look that I have. So you know, teamwork can make the teamwork. You know, just, just, I just want to help you guys. I want to help everybody out. I just want to share knowledge with you guys. Okay, just sharing. Sharing is caring. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, let me stop rambling. Um, if you would like to see how to get this look right here, please continue to watch. Alright, y'all. So the first thing we're going to do is apply a eyeshadow primer to our lid. And I'm using Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. You can use whatever you have. And then we are going to take a base. And I'm using Max Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And I'm going to apply that to my eyelid as well. Alright y'all, so what we're going to do next is apply soft brown eyeshadow to our transition area. Now in the 28 um, neutral palette, the first row and the third shadow is the color that you would use to get soft brown. Okay y'all, so for brown script, the dupe for that would be row 3 and it will be the 6th shadow. So you just go ahead and place that right underneath where you place soft brown. Alright, now we're going to take strange and the dupe for strange is actually it's the first row and it's the second shadow. And these are all in the 28 neutral palette. And for Nooner, what you're going to do is take its row one and it's the fourth shadow. And for Limit, <laughs> you can take row one and you can add two, three, and four together. So on the first row, the second, third, and fourth shadow, add them together and play with them a little bit till you get a very light pink. Alright, for trick eyeshadow, I don't really have a dupe for this one, but what I can tell you is that you can go to row 3 and you can mix the colors two, number 2 and 5 on the third row and mix those together and it kind of sort of gives you a shimmery kind of color. Alright, and for black heart, you can go to row 1 and it will be the seventh shadow. I hope this guys helps you out. Um, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Um, I'll have to do a separate video on just like dupes for the Naked 3 palette, which I think will be a really great thing to do. Now I'm going to take my Expert Wear Eyeliner in Velvet Black by Maybelline and place that on my waterline. And we're going to take the Elf Cream Eyeliner and place that right on our upper lash line. And of course I'm going to do my cat eye, so you can do that or not do it. The choice is really yours. Okay, and now we're going to add some mascara and I'm using the Big Eyes Mascara by Maybelline in Black is Black and I'm going to apply that to my lashes before I add my falsies. Alright y'all, so I'm sitting here thinking. What I'm going to do is immediately after I get done editing this video, I'm going to record a video for the Naked 3 dupes. Um, I really want you guys to be able to have it and this 28 neutral palette has a lot of colors in there that you could use. Alright, now we're going to take the Broadway Lashes in number 101 and apply those to our lid. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy that because I was looking at the palette and I just noticed that, you know, you can do a little bit of mixology <laughs> within this palette and you can get some of the colors that you would like. So if you think that sounds like a good idea, please let me know and I will definitely make sure that that happens for you guys. 
All right, so now what we're going to do is contour using the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Palette in the shade St. Lucia. And we're going to contour as we normally would. Um, I've already done my face makeup, so that's why I'm just applying bronzer now. And we're going to highlight just to taste with the Maybelline um, Highlight Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze. And I'm going to apply that to my, you know, cheekbone area, lip, nose, face, all that other crap. And now we're going to take a little bit more of the black heart and apply that to our crease area. Just our crease and outer V just to go ahead and, you know, darken it up just a bit. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit more liner to our lashes now that we've put them on so we can cover up any glue. And just make sure that the actual lash is looking as natural as it possibly can, I guess. All right, I'm gonna add some more mascara. And now we're going to add a little bit of blush. I'm using the Terracotta Blush by Jordana. This is really good and it's really cheap. You can find it at Kmart or wherever they sell Jordana products. And I'm just gonna apply that with a angled brush and that's about it. All right, now we're gonna try heroin lipstick. I don't know if I'm gonna actually wear this one, but we're gonna put it on and I see how I like it. And I don't know, I think I'm a little bit more on the pink side right now. So we're going to apply All Fired Up Lipstick by MAC. And that is like, it's really, it's starting to become my favorite color. I'm adding a little bit of Night Moth Lip Liner. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. Um, guys, for the record, any dark, like a burgundy kind of color, wine color would work um, in place of Night Moth. And I know NYX has a lot of them, or NYX, whatever it's called. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit of Candy Yum Yum right to the center of my lips. Alright, y'all, so this is the complete look. Um, I, man, I look like... Freaking... I don't like it. I look a little bit... I know I'm trying to look dewy right now. I don't really want to look this damn dewy. Okay, guys. So, this is the completed look. Um, I went ahead and used All Fired Up, Candy Yum Yum, and Night Moth Lip Liner to create this look. Turn up! Anyways. But, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like these really quick, simple, fast videos like this, please thumbs up. Let me know. Um, if you want to see, like, dupe videos, let me know. If you would like to see, um, I don't know, just me rapping, rambling, talking noise, just talk noise, because that's what I do. Uh, let me know. And until the next time, bye. Man, these cat hairs, like for real, for real, for real, I got issue with that.